everybody, Mariah here. Welcome to day six of our 21 day yoga challenge. Thank you for arriving on the map and thank you for supporting this challenge and making the commitment to be part of this challenge. So let's go ahead and begin our practice today. So as always, come into your simple seated pose and close the eyes. This time, cup the hands in your lap. As you drop the shoulders down the back, hollow out the belly, moving through your checklist, beginning at the very base of your pelvic floor, drawing up towards the navel as you hollow out the belly, and draw the front ribs back towards the back ribs. Roll the shoulders up towards the ears and then down the back. Feel the heart opening in front of the body and gently squeezing the back of the heart in your back body. Softening your jaw, softening the eyes beneath your eyelids. And turning your awareness to your breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Feel that gentle expansion of the lungs on the inhalation and the softening on the exhalation. Honor both the inhalation and the exhalation today. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And as you sit tall on your yoga mat, take a moment to scan the body, moving from the very crown of the head, the top of the head down to the very tips of your toes. Scanning down the face, across the face, across the jaw, down the throat, across the shoulders, down the very central core of your body and down your arms to the very tips of your fingers, noticing the palms of the hands as they soften. Moving through the pelvic floor, through the pelvic bowl, and down the legs to the very tips of your toes. Softening here on the mat in this seated pose. Preparing for your yoga practice. Draw the palms of your hands together. With the palms of the hands together, soften the jaw and return your breath to its natural rhythm. Balancing your awareness with the breath, your awareness of your body. Set an intention. Each day, each time that you set an intention for your practice, this brings meaning to your practice and invites you to honor both the moment and your body, as well as your mind. So in gratitude, thank yourself for arriving on your mat, for giving yourself this beautiful gift of yoga. Open the arms out away from the body and flutter your eyes open to the room. Take a deep inhale as you do so. Lift the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Take the gaze up towards the ceiling as well. And now exhale, draw the palms together out in front of you, rounding the back. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Let your breath be audible to you. Hear the sound of your own breath. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Opening up your wingspan. Opening up your heart. And exhale, softening, protecting your body with your wings, with your ribs, with your bones and muscles. And open. Last time, open up that wingspan and gaze up towards the ceiling. Take the fingers towards the ceiling. 
Palms come together in front of your heart. Bring everything back into center. Untie the legs. Coming into table pose, as we often do, tuck the chin, lift the spine for cat pose, and dropping down for cow pose. And again, cat pose. And cow pose. From cow pose, tuck the toes and reach back for downward facing dog. Hug the ribs back. Soften the knees and step to the top of the mat. Open up the arms and rise up your face and salute. Palms come together above the head and then float forward, leading with your heart. Once you arrive in a full forward fold, soften the knees and step the right foot back into high lunge. From here, drop the back knee as you reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Low lunge. Lift the back of the knee, the back knee, and step forward. Upward facing salute. Lead with the heart. Fold forward. Softening the knee, step the left foot back this time. Low lunge. Reach the fingertips forward. Arrive in a strong low lunge pose. Now lift the back knee. Gaze is straight forward. Step that back foot forward. Upward facing salute to forward fold. Coming all the way down. This time, one foot at a time, stepping back into downward facing dog. Spread the shoulders across the back. Be in downward facing dog. Soften the jaw and roll forward into plank. Drop down for our first chaturanga today. Upward facing dog. Long, strong bodies. Open heart. Sink it back. Downward facing dog. Step to the top of your mat. Open up the arms and fly all the way into absolute. Palms come together at your heart. Fold. Bow to this practice. Bow to yourself as you honor yourself during this 20 minutes. Inhale, heart way up. And exhale. All the way back down, soften the knees. Again, step the right foot back. This time, crescent pose. Stay up and off of that back knee. Shoulders down the back. Move through the checklist as we do every time we practice on that. Hands come down to the floor, lengthen through the front knee. Fold over that front knee, pyramid pose. Practicing our balance, step the fingertips forward. Pop the back foot off of the floor and look back towards the back of your mat. You can bend that upper leg if you wish or stick it straight high into the sky. Anywhere in this area is perfect. Soften that knee. Step back into high lunge and rise again into crescent pose. Still practicing balance on two feet this time. And now hands come down to the floor. Step it back plank. Chaturanga number two, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Step to the top of the mat, open up the arms, fly all the way up towards the side. Palms come together at your heart, and like a hinge, bow forward. Hands come down to the floor, inhale, heart way up. And exhale all the way back down. Soften the knees. Step the left foot off of the mat and step it back. High lunge to a crescent pose. Reach up for crescent. Take a breath, rise, and then sit deeper. Hands come down to the floor. Take your time. Lengthen through that front knee. You've got tight hamstrings. You can soften this knee a little bit as you sink deeper into the forward fold. And now again, practicing balancing on one foot and all ten fingers. Pop that back foot off of the floor. Again, bend here if you wish, or straight out somewhere here. The height doesn't matter. Let the head in. And drop that leg back down into high lunge and step it back to plank. Chaturanga number three. Come to the tips of the toes. Drop the heart down. Dive under the knee. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. 
Take a breath or two here. Real mindful, deep, meaningful breaths. Step to the top of the mat. Rise up. Palms come together at your heart and like a hinge, fold forward. Hands come down to the floor. Soften the knees, step the right foot back. Lift up for crescent pose. So find your roots here. Settle into the roots and now change it up as you step the back foot forward and the front foot back. Again, stepping. And step. And step. Step forward into chair pose. Reach the fingertips towards the front of your mat and beyond. Sit super deep. Really tiny little chair that you're sitting on here. And now fold forward. Let the head hang. Shake the head no. And shake the head yes. Open up the wingspan and rise. Rise into upward facing salute. Palms come together at your heart. And turn to face the screen. So root the soles of the feet into the mat as we prepare for tree pose. Balance first on the right foot. Slowly come into your tree pose that you have come to love during this 21 day challenge. And as you settle in, if you will find your base point somewhere down on the floor, I like to choose the floor, especially if you love the one, you can take the gaze up a little higher. It changes the dynamic of the posture. It changes the balance. Reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling. And now open up the arms out away from you, palms facing forward. Take that knee and reach it back, no matter where you are in tree pose. Heel to ankle, sole of the foot to the calf, or sole of the foot to the inner thigh. Really reach. Is if someone's tugging on your wrist out away from you, creating lots of space in part. Now, hug the belly back. Our tendency here is to hulk the belly out loud. Draw it back. And release. Palms come together at your heart and fold. Fold so that you can release that pose. Hands to hips and rise. Balance now on the left foot. Baby steps into your tree pose. Gaze point is essential here. And again, like I said, at the floor, out in front of you, towards the sky. Challenge yourself and close your eyes and pass. So once you've built this strong tree pose, reach the arms out. Case point on the floor, out in front of you, or towards the sky. Hug the belly back. Reach the fingertips up and release yourself from this pose. Pull forward. Hands come to the floor, soften the knees, and one foot at a time step into a wide-legged forward fold. Hands come to the outer ankles. Press yourself up and out for one twist here in the wide-legged stance. Right hand to the floor, left fingertips towards the sky. Left hand to the floor, right fingertips towards the sky. And back down. Heel toe the feet together or hop your feet together. And rise, upward facing salute. Palms come down in front of your heart, preparing to sit down now. So coming all the way down into your yoga mat. Take the soles of the feet together and drop the knees down towards the floor. Interlace your fingers and place them at the pinky edges of your feet and drop your knees down. Gaze straight forward or down at the floor. Soften the jaw, maybe even close the eyes. And now, like a butterfly, flap your wings. Find some movement here, some space. And now coming into a fire log. So take the left leg out in front of you a little ways. And take the right leg and stack the pinky edge of the foot. 
now on top of that left knee. So that the legs simulate stacking of blocks. So the right knee, press it down with the strength of your right hand. Open up the heart. Do you squeeze the back of the heart? There's all different kinds of levels of intensity here for each practitioner. So find which way feels right for you as you press that knee down, creating space in the upper portion of the leg. IT band. And now untie the legs from where they are. Make sure there's a good amount of space between your heel and your groin. Stack the left foot on top of the right. And as before, press the hand into the knee, creating space. Each side of your body will be different. Gently open up the heart, gently squeeze the back. Hug the ribs back at navel back. Feel this pose. Be in this pose right now. Find the breath. Everybody, myself included, close the eyes. Close the eyes so that you can feel more deeply, so that you can see more clearly into your body. Connecting the breath with this feeling, with this feeling in your body. Opening up the eyes. Untying the legs. Extending the feet out in front of you. One sit bone up, then the other, rooting down into your sit bones, and lift fingertips up towards the ceiling and fold. Fold over those straight legs. Maybe you grab the feet, maybe the knees. Just fold the heart somehow towards the legs. Take the gaze down to the shins. And now from wherever your hands are, reach the fingertips forward, and to the sky. Drop the arms down, back behind you, thumbs pointing towards your sit bones, fingers pressing into the mat, draw the knees up, and extend the legs out into a wide stance. Now this could be any number of places for you. One hand at a time, begin to walk forward. Folding over these straight legs, toes point up towards the sky. The tendency here is to have the toes roll in. Work against that. Work toward Reaching the pinkies back. And now walk both hands over to the left. Twisting. Bring yourself into this twist muscularly, using the strength of your arms through your fingertips. And now walk through center. Opposite side again. Pull yourself into this twist. And fold. Fold over that straight leg. And back to center. Slowly walk yourself up and out, mindfully, one leg at a time, releasing from this wide legged stance. And now coming into simple seated pose, whatever this simple seated pose looks like for you, and however it feels for you most comfortably. Reach the sit bones up off of the floor and then settle back down. Bring the palms of the hands together. And as you inhale, reach the fingertips up towards the sky, gaze straight forward, and drop the left hand back behind you and the right hand to the left hand, twisting here. Again, muscularly, gently though, pulling yourself into this twist. You'll know when it's time for you to stop on the twist and to sit and savor. Reach the fingertips up towards the sky and exhale your way to the opposite side. Lift the crown of the head and twist. Muscularly, Pulling yourself. And release. Arms come up and drop those hands back down beside you. Untie the legs gently. Be kind to your body. Moving our awareness now to the core. So practicing boat pose. Bring the soles of the feet onto the floor. Hands back behind your knees, just like we did the other day. And now lift one foot at a time up off of the floor. Reach those toes forward and to the ceiling. And now tuck the toes back to the point, back towards your shin, totally spreading the soles of the feet. And reach those fingertips forward. As if you're reaching for the toes. And now reach the fingertips up towards the sky. 
And now open up the arms out away from Embrace the shaking of your body. Internally rotate the thighs. You bring all the power in towards your central core. Extend the legs if you wish. Keep them bent. It's a wonderful way to practice. Take the fingertips up towards the ceiling and again down as you reach for the toes. Grab the big toes or the ankles. Press the soles of the feet together and float forward. Baddha Konasana, Kabbalah Pose. Pull yourself down into this forward fold as well. And come on up. Press the knees toward one another. And come all the way back. Nice and slow as you come back onto your backs. Take a full body stretch. Reach the fingertips away from the body. Point the toes away from the body. Draw the arms down by your sides. Let the feet splay away. And relax. Soften. Soften the eyes. Relaxing into Shavasana. This is another essential pose for yoga. This is what we work for. This is the gift at the end of the practice. A moment to press the save button on what we've worked on in our bodies and minds. Bringing the soles of the feet to the floor. Roll into your right side and pressing yourself up into seated as we sit tall again. Completing our sixth day, the 21 day challenge. Palms together at your heart, eyes wide open. Thank you so much for being exactly as you are. Thank you for practicing yoga here today. And most importantly, today, thank you for honoring yourself. Take what you learn on the mat, off of the mat. Teach others to honor themselves as you honor yourself. Thank you. Namaste.